Hey everybody, this is Michael Coe, and this video is a short guide on assembling the cardboard constructs in Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea. So, uh, Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea is not just another game. This is an investment. This is something you're going to be playing again and again. So take your time when assembling the cardboard constructs. Uh, I would say it takes about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to assemble the constructs for the base game. And, uh, and then again, if you've got the expansion, another hour, you know, hour and 15 minutes to do the expansion. So turn on your favorite movie or your favorite TV show or your favorite music and don't rush. Uh, after the constructs are constructed, you'll be able to put them back into the box fully assembled. So this only has to be done one time. All right, let's get started. Now, you don't have to glue them. Uh, once you've assembled them, they'll, they'll stay assembled, but I like to glue them. It just gives them a little bit uh, of a tighter uh, feel when they're put together. And this is the glue that I would recommend that you use. And you can pick this up at Walmart. This is just the Gorilla um, Super Glue Gel. I like the gel in particular because it's not as runny. So, um, and you don't use a lot of glue, but if you're using just a normal super glue, it can start to run down the side of the construct. So I just would recommend going with something a little bit thicker like the gel. I'm also going to be using a small tool. So if you get like a mini screwdriver, this is um, a eyeglasses screwdriver and you can get this at Walmart as well. It's near the pharmacy in the um, eyeglasses section. It's like a dollar. Uh, it's just a tiny little screwdriver. And this is nice, uh, and I'll kind of show you um, why and, and how I use this. That, that you know, I think it helps a lot. So, all right, let's get started. Uh, the reason I'm doing the expansion is because it has the chopper, the helicopter, and I just wanted to kind of show you how I like to do the helicopter to make sure that uh, all the units fit in it just fine. So. Um, all right, but I'm not going to do all of the pieces. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to do kind of a, a sample. You know, I'll do one tower, one castle, um, you know, a vehicle, and et cetera, just so you can kind of see a quick example of, of one of each. So let's start. Uh, we'll start here with the undead. The undead are pretty cool. And we'll just do, uh, we'll start with the tower. So you get the top of the tower here. And you just pop that out and then I just kind of push it down like that pull that out and that's going to be your piece for the tower okay so what I like to do is I, I take this tool and from this side I'll just lightly press kind of get a little bit closer so you can see um, you can see that there's multiple little cutouts all around the flat edges. Each flat edge has a small little cutout. So you just take the tool and you just kind of gently press it through and it punches right through like that and drops out. And you just do that for each of these little pieces. I've just found this to be a little bit easier than using your fingers. You can punch it out with your fingers, but this little tool is pretty helpful. So there you go. So you got all those punched out. And then I take this tower and you need to kind of bend at each of these uh, lines. And so you'll see there's several lines across here and you just kind of need to bend at each of those. I kind of just take my tool sometimes and, and just like that, just kind of bend it over. Um, I mean, really this, this you can just do with your hand, but I like to do the tool because it just helps keep it a little straight, a little bit straighter. So you just go through and just slightly bend. You don't have to bend too aggressively. And then you'll see you end up with something like this. So kind of goes like that and creates a cylinder tower. All right, and then um, I like to direct the face of the logo, the front of that. I like to direct that towards the front of the tower. So uh, this being the back of the tower, I'll just put this right here. 
and you can kind of see I line up that first hole then I just lightly push that first one through I'm not trying to get it all the way through yet because then I'm going to kind of massage and and find how the rest of these pegs are going to fit into their into the holes and you just kind of massage that in now sometimes you may get where it's a little bit of a tight fit um, I think the dwarves tend to have towers that are just a little bit of a tight fit. If that's the case, um, you can just kind of just gently, you know, add a little bit more pressure than normal and you can fit it down on top. If it happens to peel back some of the uh, art, which is not common, but if it does, then I would say I'd recommend just kind of starting over a little bit, kind of lift out the end where the art is peeled use that little tool and just kind of push the art back into place like that and kind of use the tool to push it through the cutout and then and then you'll be good to go if, it, if you find that it's still kind of peeled off or whatever even after it's through the cutout just apply a small dab of, of the super glue just a real small one to the um, inside piece of that and then just use your tool to hold it flat and it'll it'll adhere it right back to itself and and your problem will be solved so as you can see here this is very sturdy um, it's it's not going to fall apart no matter what I do with it it can roll around in the box it can get knocked over and it's not going to fall out so like I said you don't really need glue to hold these together um, but I do like to still uh, slightly I like to add a little bit of glue to these um, just personal preference so, and where I do that, and I, I don't add a lot of glue, and you don't need to add it to a lot of places, but you can see right here, this is the opening for the, the back part of that tower. So I'll just take a small dab of glue. I'll hold that tower together like this so that that back side is held together real tight. And then I just lightly line it like that. And that's it. Um, now because I glue my pieces, maybe that's why it's taking me an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to assemble these. If you don't glue them, you probably get through these a lot faster. Uh, but there you go. The glue's drying. Maybe while the glue is drying, I'll just set it upside down. That way if, if it does run a little bit, it runs down towards the uh, base of the, or towards the top of the tower here and not onto the table. But there you go. So that's... That's how you assemble a tower. All right, so let's uh, grab one of these castle pieces. Um, we'll do this. We'll just do the big one. Okay. All right, so there's the base of the castle. Here's the top, and again, these have the little punch outs, so I just take the tool and just gently punch each one of them out. If you get one where the uh, paper kind of sticks, let's say like that one, the paper is kind of sticking just a little bit. I'll kind of show you, I tried to punch that one out and it stuck just slightly. So what I'd recommend is just grab the piece and just pull away from the art not or pull a, a, like away from where it's stuck not towards where it's stuck so you don't create a, a larger tear across it now you never see the bottom of this uh, and so if there's a slight tear in the art or something on the bottom it's like that one kind of stuck just a little bit so I would take this and just pull away um, but even if there's a small tear in the paper or something like that you're never going to see it. And that's why I like to punch uh, from the top down versus punching from this way down because I don't want anything on top to tear. So I punch through that. So it's all right. And then uh, this one, you've got four creases. So you just bend it at each of the creases. Again, I like to use the tool. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm just kind of crazy like that I guess and I like to have a nice I you know I just want it to 
have a nice even bend. So, and then uh, there's kind of a little puzzle piece on the back side, and that's what this is here. Let me just take it off so I can show you. So, so you get this little puzzle piece. So you just kind of push that through and seal it, and there you go. You got the base. And then again, I, I you know, I, here's the front door. I want to face this forward. So I just kind of find the first few of those, and I just kind of gently push them in. Not all the way yet because I gotta, I'm gonna have to kind of move the rest of them, and just make sure that each one is lined up. Each little insert's lined up with the hole and then just gently push it through. If you get a little bit of resistance, it's okay to add a little bit more force. It's not really gonna ruin the construct or anything. Um, these are very durable, very high quality constructs. They're a white core cardboard. Uh, it's the most expensive cardboard construct that my factory produces. And so I said, let's just get the very very best that you can do so these are really nice um so don't worry too much about the durability of these they're really fantastic um so but you can see that by pushing it through just a little bit i did peel back um, a tiny piece of art on this one so i'm going to reset that kind of like what i was explaining earlier i'm going to pull this back up and then just use my little tool push that art down and kind of hold it down as I push the top back over it. So there you go. So now the art is back through the hole and then it's still a little loose as you can tell. So I'll just apply a really small dab of this glue. And then just using my tool, just so I don't get my fingers all super glued up. Just press and hold for just a couple of seconds. And there you go. So now it's back in place, it's glued back in place. You can't even tell that anything ever happened. So that's uh, an example of how you do a, a slight repair on the fly if some of the art does happen to peel. Okay, um, so there you go. And then for gluing this piece, uh, again, you don't have to glue it um, really at all. Uh, it's perfectly fine and durable as it is. But I'll, if you are going to glue it, I would just recommend finding that puzzle piece on the inside and just applying a small little streak of glue across the back side of that puzzle piece. It'll kind of keep that wall. If you feel like you need to do a little bit, you can kind of where like the first two inserts um, meet the top of it, you can add just a tiny bit there. I actually wasn't adding any glue right now. This um, All I did was glue the back side of that little puzzle piece. You can kind of see where it's a little bit wet right there. And that'll just uh, seal that puzzle piece closed. And so that's never going to it's never going to open or do anything. Um, so there you go. This one is glued by, this one is all dry now. And so you can see this one's good to go. And it looks like it did run just a little bit down to the base, but that actually will just glue this piece into the top. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, it's actually nice. And so there you go. So that's the castle and the tower glued um, and good to go. And even the castle had a, a little minor minor repair, so that was good to see. All right, so um, let's now take a look at the ferry. This is the undead sea vessel. So you'll just kind of pull this out like that. Punch this out. Punch this piece out. This is um, one of the more complicated uh, sea vessels, even though it's not really complicated at all, but it's um, it's got more pieces because it's got this 
extra piece right here. So that goes right there, fits in nice and snug as you can see. And then you got two bends right here. So I'll just take the tool, bend it to the inside like that. And then this piece goes on the back of the boat, like such. And then you've got this one here with uh, three creases, two to the sides, one down the center. So there you go, you just kind of give those a gentle bend. Then you can shape that, and that'll go on the front. And there's your boat. Um, like any of the other constructs in this game, it doesn't need assembly, but or I mean glue to uh, be fully assembled. But if you want to glue it, then um, what I recommend is I'll typically peel. I'll, I'll go to the bottom of this and I'll kind of open this up just a little bit right here, and that's where I'll apply the glue. And I'll just apply a small little sampling of it there and then just hold those two pieces together for just a moment. And then again on the other side the exact same way. You can see I'm even using my glue bottle to kind of push the piece out of the way. I'm, I'm really not concerned about any sort of structural damage to these pieces. They're very, very durable, very high quality, so you don't have to worry about bending them really. So there we go. So now that's glued. So this really, I mean, that's really all it takes and this is really never gonna come apart now. So that's the sea vessel. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's now do the helicopter. That's the air vessel for the goblin faction. And I think this is an important one to do. Um, it's the most complicated of the air vessels. Again, they're not very complicated, but if, if there is one to be the most complicated, this is the one because it's got these little propellers. Okay, um, the propellers have a tiny little punch out so just again from the top down through the piece just punch that little piece out um, and again if it sticks just pull away from where it's sticking there we go okay uh, and then on this piece here, there's actually like these little windows. So just kind of punch out the window right there. That's just a thematic little thing. It's not, you're not gonna insert anything into that, but you can leave the windows if you want or just punch them out. Okay, and then uh, I, whenever I do the folds, you know, obviously you gotta fold it in. So you flip it over to the bottom, just kind of press the tool into the crease, and fold into the tool. And there you go. This is actually the back side of the helicopter. This is the base. So the back side will come in just like this. Okay. There you go. And then the propellers go on top. And they're kind of a tight fit, and that's intentional, um, so that they don't move around a lot. And I do like to glue the propellers. Um, I don't really glue the base, but you can. It's just really not important. But um, I do like to put a little dab of glue on these propellers so that they stay in place and so they don't fall off. And again, this will go right into the box fully assembled. But what's important is that you want the propellers uh, to be glued at the very, very top of the stem because you can kind of see um, the stem on the side and you could push the propeller all the way down, but um, you really want to leave it at the top like this. That's, that way you can fit King Glut 
Uh, he's a really tall miniature with a tall crown. That way he fits all the way in. You can push him all the way to the back. He can be in the middle or in the front. Um, so I'll just take this here. I'll just add a small dab of glue to the top of this propeller stem here. And just kind of coat the edge there a little bit. And just put that right on there. If you want a little, if you just want to be extra sure, you can just put a tiny bit on the top. It'll dry transparent anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You won't see it. And then uh, second piece, I just do the same and just barely insert it just up to the top like that. And then just kind of give it a little crowning layer of glue to hold it into place so you can see that's the helicopter for the goblins okay let me just grab that unit I was talking about and I'll just show you what I mean So there's King Glut. So, so now you can see if you have those propellers all the way at the top, he fits in there perfectly. His crown won't bump into the propellers at all. And he can be at the front or in the middle or in the back. It's a great fit. And then lastly, I'll just uh, show you these stands. These are the airship stands. And when you're putting a stand into the bottom of a air vessel, you take this, uh, the, the circle side is the base and the rectangle is what's going to hook into the air vessel. So you just insert it from the front and push it into place. It'll kind of bend a little bit. Um, it'll make the cardboard bend out just a little bit. Uh, but that's because it's using friction to hold it in. So this does not need glue. It doesn't have any sort of uh, click-in mechanic or piece. It just inserts right in there. And then because of uh, how strong the cardboard itself is and the way that it's structured, it'll just hold that right in there. And look, I mean, I, I'm shaking it pretty vigorously here and it's not budging, let alone coming out. So there you go. And then it just sits nice and high above the rest of the units. So, okay, well that uh, pretty much covers it. Um, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments and I will uh, answer them as quick as I can. But all right, everybody, and again, just a reminder, please take your time with assembling the constructs. Um, it's it's really worth it again you'll be revisiting this game again and again so um just don't rush through it and i can't wait for you all to to get this game to the table and start enjoying it thanks for watching everybody take care now bye bye